What up? What up? Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. All right, guys. Welcome. New episode. Rods and hops. We're back, baby. And we're with new microphones. Trace. So hopefully you guys <laughs> can hear us a little bit better. Yeah, we've been hearing that we're a little muffly or not loud enough, I guess, in some of our videos or not clear enough. So we supply and demand, basically. We so listened. We listened to y'all. And here we are. And we are in my backyard. So you're going to hear some nature and shit. So we in the wilderness, right? <laughs> All right, cool. So we are going to be doing something different today. Um, we're basically going to choose each other's beer. And we're going to have to basically try to guess what we got. Yeah. Blindfolded. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, so. All right, so who's I'm going scared. first? I can go first. You want to go first? Yeah, but let me look okay. at my beer when I'm getting first because I want to hopefully have an idea. All right, so this is Bottle Logic, the rice lager. Hanamachi. Mm. Cute ass can too. Rice lager, okay. From Anaheim. Oh, and we got our beers from uh, Bottle Craft in Long Beach at the hangar from the homie Tony. Shout out yeah. Tony. Always knows. He, he recommended up. all of these. I didn't even know what the fuck I was getting, so. Mm -hmm. We got a Hellas Lager, so a Rice Lager, Hellas Lager, and a Pilsner. Your favorite. Yeah, it's gonna be good. Let me just try to see what I'm working with. <laughs> just like for sludge wise. Okay, this is a cute little can. Okay, well, I guess I'll get blindfolded now. All right. I'm sitting on it. All right, John. I'm scared. I'm gonna take my glasses off. Pick a good one. I'm sure they're all good. <laughs> Pick a good one. <laughs> About to ruin my makeup. I'm just going to be like total switch and pick one of mine. <laughs> Damn. Plot Later. twist. Plot twist. Ooh. Sexy not blindfolding. No. My um, eyes are closed too because I'm not trying to fuck up my makeup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So I'm sure to pick, guys. Something good. I'm hoping. All right. Watch it. You pick the Hamachi because the can is so cute. You never know until your taste buds tell you. I'm totally going to get it wrong, anyways. You think you're going to get it wrong? We'll see. Have a little faith in Am you, I man. Am I gonna, here, let me and put it in your hand. All right, got it. Is it poured, ready to go? Ready to go, girl. Just get the aromas it. flowing. <laughs> Once it hits your lips, it's so good. Oh, they're really gonna get that <laughs> in the <laughs> It's some of that ASMR that or something. real taste test, all right, guys? I don't even fucking know. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I fucking know shit. Show your life. I got it's, this. I'm just going to finish the whole fucking beer. <laughs> don't pound it. It's got a whole fucking episode to go, basically. I know. <laughs> hmm. It's cool, though. We do have two other beers to drink, so. I've never tasted any of these before, so it's like, it's just a wild guess anyways. Wow, wow, Is it a wow. lager or a pilsner? Um, I'm just going to guess the middle one. I can't remember what it was called, but it was the lager. The lager? I forgot the name already. You wrong. Damn. You could do the hibachi, didn't you? Yeah, I did. Damn it. <laughs> of course, I said, bitch, this can. I, mean, I was like, this one looks real good. I wanted to say that, but I was like, nah, because I was saying how much I want to drink it. And I was like, this bitch ain't going to do that. <laughs> Plot twist. That's right. good, though. Want to try it? Yeah. Go ahead. Or the can, I don't care. Should have went with my gut, man. You should have. Listen to your gut. What is this one called again? I probably wouldn't have been able to guess either. All right, girl. But actually... Japanese, like the Sapporo. Kind of tastes, tastes like the hot. Yeah, but yeah. like this one's like a better Sapporo. So, 
I can mm. see that, actually. You know how that's Japanese mm -hmm. style, right? Right in my alley. Do you want to check out your beer first? Or are you just going to wing it, girl? Think, you already know what you got? Yeah, I know what I got. I got Moonraker. I got the Crybaby, Crybaby one. And then I got the... Damn, I'm um, so excited to choose Dwayne for you. Dwayne The Rock Johnson. I'm so excited to choose for me. For All right. <laughs> I've already tried one Moonraker can, but not this not particular this one. one. So you haven't tried any of these. I haven't tried any <gasps> of these. Excuse me. Bottle cap has like a really... I can't see anything my eyes are closed to. Really mm. good selection. I kind of want to look. Kind of mm. want to look what? What you got? Oh, okay, go ahead. I love the cans too. Yeah. Like, I like the little the little hops because they look kind of like nuts. This one is so <laughs> cool. Which uh, which one? The raise, uh, oh, raisins. Oh, the raisins. California raisins. Oh, my nails are in the way. Cute ass cans. I'm definitely not picking that one. <laughs> Dun, 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 dun. Damn, I'm so upset because I was like, dude, I totally gonna get this beer. It's wrong. I thought you were gonna guess it too. Damn, I, I thought you were just gonna guess it just because you you knew I liked the can. Yeah. Oh yeah, guys. So also, this is probably something just new that we're introducing to broads and hops. We're just kind of trying to like brainstorm, get ideas. So if you guys have any like cool little ideas that you guys think we should do, you can comment below or DM us on our IG if you guys want. Put your hand out. All right. I hope you like it. Can't even, am I here? <laughs> Ooh. Smell the hops. God damn. Smells so good. Holy shit. That's delicious. Hmm. Hmm. I'm gonna guess. Fuck. It's hard, huh? Mm -hmm. I feel like it's, it's similar. Okay, I'm just gonna go with. Dwayne, The Rock Johnson. Take off the blindfold. <laughs> Take off the blindfold. Okay. Oh my god, I got yes! it! Yes! Alright, see? <laughs> One or two guesses ain't bad, dude. There you go. Damn. God damn. This one's really good. I As soon as I opened Simone it up, El Dorado, really that's nice. what it was. Oh, I never had. Let me try. Cash, is, it says cashmere? Is that what it says? Who? Cashmere? Cat? Looks like cashmere. Never tried that before. Look. It's a West Coast, it's a double dry hop West Coast um, IPA. 8.3%. Humble Sea Brewing. It's pretty cool. Oh my God. Not me. This can is Fish. so fucking That's cute. Fucking hot. Hoppy, yeah. Explosion in your mouth. Flavor. Terps. Ooh. My kind of beer. Very good. All right, very good, so very good. Oh, yeah. let's be have it on your phone. looking at our lovely uh, posts or responses. This was to the pet peeves of um, when you go to a bar slash brewery. Yeah. Um, Got a good amount of people that responded. Yeah. And some, some funny ones. Some fucking funny. Some real ones. All right. So our thing says, what's a pet peeve you have while visiting a bar slash brewery? Um, one gentleman has said, bringing your newborn baby in, I've seen it. I don't understand it. <laughs> <laughs> that was a little weird. <laughs> I just feel like bringing though. newborn babies anywhere, honestly. Yeah. I mean, I don't have a child, but I just feel like I wouldn't want my child anywhere. Yeah. That whole, that's kind of like a thing too with breweries. Like some of them allow kids to mm. come in, which I mean, I'm not completely against it, but then at the same time, I get the people who are like, sometimes, I mean, you're trying to get away from your kids and you're going to go drink, I just see you know, like a and then you have to be around. Yeah. No, fuck and no. then also I think who the fuck's driving home? I see both parents drinking sometimes. No, I mean, I mean, if they're, home. maybe they drink like 
one and then li like chill. I don't know. Yeah, we'll see. All right, we have another one. Uh, this one is, oh. Oh, shit. <laughs> Damn, this person okay, this says, is... bad meat cheese. They said bad meat cheese. <laughs> not going to say from where. <laughs> they said bad meat cheese at Green Cheek. Honestly, though, I love Green Cheek's meat cheese. Know. What the fuck? Mm, that is... I like meat cheese. I don't give a fuck. I don't know. Well, he's not like bad meat cheese, apparently. <laughs> he was Ooh, like Ooh, I agree with this girl. She says, people tearing up coasters. Oh yeah, that is kind of fucking weird. I think it's like a nervous habit or something. But yeah. like, as long as like you clean up after it. yourself, fucking clean up after yourself. Don't fucking yeah, don't be a slob at a brewery, man. Loser. Oh, damn. I said hipsters. Oh wait, they all have hipsters. Ha ha ha. What the fuck? Are we hipsters? Um, I mean, I think to a certain extent, but not like all the way. I just feel like the hipster definition is getting really big, so I don't even know anymore. I know. I was like, can't. Be, it's like kind of. That's like a vague like type of. There's all kinds of hipsters. I mean, I don't know. What is wrong with a hipster, anyways? For real, they're hip. Mm. <laughs> hip, get with the times, man. <laughs> What's this one? It's my brother-in-law. <laughs> no henny. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, they ain't got no. the henny. <laughs> no henny. Damn. John likes John? the Henny. Yeah. I mean, Henny's yeah, cool. you can't take shots and stuff at the, the brewery, so yeah. yeah, I guess. Well, at a bar, though. At a bar, I guess you expect, yeah. it, well, if it's a full bar, you're going to want some Henny in there. Yeah. I mean, it's true, though. Sometimes people don't want to get super full off a of brew. Yeah, some so people like the hard alcohol. Some people just like that hard day. Fucking one and done. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> you, you having flashbacks, I'm girl? having mad flashbacks now. I'm <laughs> I don't ever want to get Henny again. <laughs> uh, this girl put people. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> I mean, Jelly feels that for sure. Sometimes I get overwhelmed. For real. You get like, like a lot. Right you get, she gets like social anxiety yeah, sometimes. Yeah, it's weird. Especially with, if I smoke. Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> you get just that paranoid feeling. Do you remember that one time we like smoked? We smoked before, like we were all in the car. We went to do a Starbucks, and I had to like run out of Starbucks because I was fucking having like a panic a bad attack. trip. Yeah, and she won't tell us. That's a thing. <laughs> I'm like, girl, you need to like co so we could calm you down. She won't let us know until I'm over here just freaking the fuck out. <laughs> I'm like, oh god, get out of here. I couldn't talk. <sighs> oh shit. I just couldn't I talk. Don't do that to you. Yeah. Fucking weed. With certain strains, I I know for sure. Certain strains that you oh. have smoked. It has to be. Devil. <laughs> <laughs> it's called the devil's lettuce for a reason, girl. Ooh, this one. Ah. They put communal tables. Hashtag no new friends. Laugh out loud. <laughs> That's one of the girls I actually I train with. I'm trying to think. Communal Babe, but tables. remember that one time that we were at uh, Brewery X and we're, we had a table and oh. these people came through and they're like, yo, you want to share a table? Before we knew it, it was their table. Like, we were we got kicked off literally on the corner table. of the table. Yeah. Damn. I remember that. We are all being all cool. Like, yeah, it's cool. Yeah. Share with us. Be nice. There's only, only three of us and we got outnumbered. No, th first there was only three of them. Yeah. And then all of a sudden. It's like ten people. Yeah. <laughs> Next it's thing just, we knew, we were like, all right, we're out of here. Yeah. They're like, yo, we, can we share I this table? Like and we're we like, yeah, and they're like. Getting, we're literally sharing the corner of like this table. Yeah. <laughs> Enough room for just our beer. Yeah, and then Leo rolled through and that was, we are just like, all right, let's get the fuck out of here. Yeah. It's like two. Just Damn, I miss Brewery X. I know. We used to go fucking a lot. Damn, I hate that shit. All right, we got this one. Motherfuckers. <laughs> That's how it's spelled. Yeah. <laughs> Cutting or wasted people feeling entitled. Don't we all? 100%. I don't think I've experienced anyone cutting in a brewery. Um, I don't think I have. Not I with me. I no. Actually, maybe in the bars. Before. Maybe the bars. Maybe not. I think bars for sure. I've seen people like call, you know, get a drink before I did, and I was there way before them. 
So I think more breweries are more lined. So yeah. I don't think you can really cut. And typically they're like, yo, are you in line? But I mean, the wasted people feeling entitled. 100%. Some people are fucking dumb. They don't know, the, they don't know how to chill. They don't know how to hold Especially their Especially at some uh, like breweries, like people, you know, if they hook you up once, they feel entitled to get like hooked up again with like, you know, a discount or like a free beer or something like that. It's like, dude. Fuck all that. me when I worked at um, Phantom when I first started there. They expected a hookup because I was new, and I was like, I don't know you, man. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry that you're used to getting discounts. I, I guess it's weird that people expect anything like I'm, that. Are you at Target and expect fucking a discount on some bullshit coupon? Like what? That's what I'm saying. It's like people entitled. They feel mm. happen at a dispensary all the time when I worked there too. Fuck all that. Don't do that shit. It's fucking whack. It's like, it's my first time here. It's like, I don't go to Target. Like, it's my first time. What am I getting for free? What does that mean? <laughs> exactly. Ugh. Oh, my God. Drink to that. Ooh, this next one. I'll drink to that, too. One-person restrooms. That's how they get piss-smelling plants. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I agree, though. Those yeah. Those things suck. It's true. Especially people drinking, like, dude, one bathroom. Yeah, it doesn't no. work. I gotta piss every like twenty minutes. Especially when that for after that first time, you're done. You're gonna keep going. That's me. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, when a brewery's lineup consists of a dozen variations of the same type of beer. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Yeah. When there's like ten IPAs, like, bitch, we get it. It's a fucking IPA. <laughs> like, holy shit. Oh my god. Jelly's passionate about this. <laughs> I'm like so over the IPs. I'm so sorry. It's cool. It's like, yeah, you're right. I mean, they're oversaturated. I think it's more like, yeah, like you should have at least some variety. I mean, I know usually it depends on the brewer that, mm -hmm. that you know, is making the beer. But I think in general, the person that is in charge of or owns the brewery should have, make sure that there's a selection for everybody that appeals to a lot more people. Yeah. Not everyone likes IPAs, and I feel like I've talked to somebody about this too, where they're kind of like, I don't like IPAs when they think of like craft beers or them going to breweries, and they're like, I don't like IPAs. It's like, well, I get where they're coming from because you fucking look and there's like, okay, well, there's 10 IPAs and two Pilsners, maybe a lager, maybe a stout, like, that's why people get... I think kind of scared sometimes like go to them or they don't like craft beer because they think it's just fucking IPA. I think that's why I really I think we gravitate more towards like tap rooms because they have variety yes. of different beers from different breweries. Absolutely. And when you go to one brewery it's more like they just have that same like uh, menu. Yeah. Consistently you know I mean sometimes they'll switch staple. it up but yeah but I mean if you want to go somewhere for a good IPA you already know like where to go for yeah. a variety but like or like myself or I know I like the light beers or whatever I'm like okay well I only know that they're probably gonna have one or two maybe three mm -hmm. but other well, than fucking I'm gonna still go though <laughs> <laughs> alright this one breweries that throw out. all types of events and activities to make up for their beer or their poor beer selection breweries that throw all types of events and activities to make up for their poor beer selection. I haven't really gone to events or activities. I have. I'm not gonna say the brewery, but I mean you've been there. You have. Yeah. But I'm trying to think of like activities that they have. I think it's more like because they'll do like certain events, like, like yoga. That's really big. That's really popular. Not yoga. They have like just. I mean. I can't really think. Right. I mean, I know that some one place actually started doing more like uh, cornhole stuff because of uh. Brewery X. Ugh. So like they, you know, they're trying to compete and things like yeah. that. But like obviously oh. their beer is not up to par. Like like to, an ambiance kind of thing. Like activity. yeah, like that, oh. like that type. I'm I'm thinking about like that those uh, type I'm of things like or like fucking like you know music. I don't know. Mm. They do yoga be beer yoga. Yeah. I didn't know that. I know, I know Noble done it or does it. I oh know wait, we did. done it. We saw them one time. They were doing. We're like, what the fuck are these? All these people doing? Oh, they yeah. went to the through the back, right? Yeah. But then they have the runners there too. Yeah. Oh, and uh, Unsung. Mm. Unsung does it. 
All right, we got some milk. All right. Oh. <laughs> Honestly, willing to deal with the things that used to bother me at bars because I want to get lit. <laughs> I, I think that's another guy I, I train girl. with. <laughs> yeah. That's okay, so true. Like, like when she it. said that, I was. She was just like, "Yeah, dude. Fuck honestly, it. like, fuck it. Right now, at any point, you. I mean, you'll deal with anything Especially just to go. Especially now, we will take what we can get. Mm -hmm. Goddamn quarantine. Just to feel fucking normal. Ooh, this one. Dang, Lee's got all the good ones. Mm -hmm. When there's shitty seating and tabling, I don't mind standing, but at least give me a standing table. Wow. Yes. Absolutely, Lee. Hundred percent. Because you got to sit your beer down. Because honestly, if I hold my beer, it's awkward. It's like, is gone, and I'm gonna be gone too. And it gets warm. Right? I chug it. it. I chug it though. Oh. I I, I have a meat like a tendency to chug my drink when I'm holding it. Mm. You know what I mean? It's like I don't know. It's always fucking happens to me. Even when we go to bars or any anything. If I'm holding my drink, I'm gonna be constantly drinking it. Whereas like if I be able to put it down like this, you know, kind of like little still distracted. chilling. I still got my beer. Damn, you know. it just makes you get drunk more, but yeah, I 100% agree with that. Like, I think Brewery X needs that a little bit more because it's so huge, huge and there's not enough tables with how many people pop up in there. Yeah, Ooh, for sure. Another one, when they are not allergy friendly, the gluten, man, that gluten gets people. Mm -hmm. And I think wheat. it's becoming more popular now too, though, like getting yeah, more like seltzers. seltzers and stuff, which is good. Yeah, because it does. But that's why we went to Brewery X a lot, remember? Yeah. Because Lee. Yeah, that's definitely... Yeah, especially with your allergy friends, you want to go somewhere where they can drink too. What the hell? And they have good seltzers. Like, a lot of places is like, kind of like hit or miss, I feel like. Ooh. Another one. Breweries that allow kids because I feel like I have to watch my words and shit. I'm horrible. I agree. It's like a bar. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Honestly, okay. I really do like that Redbeards doesn't have a, I mean, uh, that it's, it's 21 and up. They don't let any yeah, kids. Yeah, I just, it just makes sense. Like, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Or when they're like fucking running around everywhere, I'm like, I don't, and it's like a bunch of people. I don't know. It's not good. Yeah, yeah for sure. <laughs> the next one. Kids. <laughs> kids is a big thing right now. Yeah. <laughs> All right. This one. When they run out of the beer you went there for, oh. laugh out loud. Yeah, that is a tragedy, man. Drove all the way out there. It but happens. You know, hopefully you find an, another option, and you're not. It happened bouncing to me actually there. at um. Fuck. Um, monkish. There we go. You drove all the way out there. Drove all the way to fucking Torrance. <laughs> I, I did get their shirt released. They had a shirt drop. But they had a can. Uh, they had a, a new beer, but that that was out. And I think the cans that were there too were out. I was just like, whatever, dude. But I ended up getting. They still have really good um, beers, you know, selection that I that like. I just got a beer and dipped, but still, it's kind of whack just to it's drive like, out yeah. there. Yeah, you yeah. drove a minute because that's past. <laughs> that's like twenty minutes from my house. I know. That's what I'm saying. That's funny. Post emissions for oh. beer. Oh. When bathrooms smell like piss. 100%. That's me. <laughs> Ew. I feel like they need to, like, power wash that shit. They like, do. Like, you need to, like, just... Now's the time, man. If your bathroom smells like piss, power hose that shit. There are people out Get there that do that shit. Get a fucking washer and wash the fuck out oh of your bathroom. Oh, my God. Or men just learn to fucking piss in the goddamn toilet. I don't know, but... Well, I know. It's like... It stinks, and I hate like, it. Like, I feel like they need to have a fucking wall around their fucking... <laughs> I mean, they have oh. urinals, but you know what I mean? Like, some sort of a... So, if it splatters... I don't know. Like, it, that's why guys should... Guys usually have their own bathroom because of that. Like, girls don't want to go and fucking... Um, like, you know, put a seat cover, and you still are going to sit on pee or smell pee in there. It's nasty. It's disgusting. Even bitches are gross, too, though. Bitches are fucking gross. You know who you Proof are. Proof bathroom? Ugh. I'm we sorry, Proof, know but... know who you are, bitch. <laughs> bitch, we smell you on the we dance floor. We smell you. We found you, unfortunately. <laughs> Wash that ass. Why don't you have a vagina? See a doctor, girl. You know who you were. Like, yeah, she you need definitely a doctor. see a doctor, for sure. I, I, I diagnosed her as... <laughs> Infection, STD, probably a little bit of vaginitis on top of that. She got her notebook out. She's like, check and yes. check. I should have gave her a prescription, like, bitch, see a doctor. 
<laughs> Here you go, girl. <laughs> bitch. Oh, man. I think that was all of it. Was it? Yeah. Pretty good ones, honestly. Yeah, a lot of people had some pretty funny ones. A lot of kids. People aren't a fan of the kids on here. <laughs> <laughs> kids are cool, but... I mean, I don't know. I guess when they get too loud, too. I was thinking that the other day about kids. I was just like, damn, these little kids just fucking scream their lungs out, right? But you as an adult, you doing that, you'd look like a fucking psychopath. <laughs> Like, why is this bitch yelling? Like, your little kids yelling. You're just like, ah, oh, they're just throwing a tantrum or whatever the fuck, you know? Bitch, throw your tantrum somewhere else. <laughs> fuck all that. Yeah, dude. Me mm -hmm. Mexican, I was never allowed to throw tantrums. Fuck that. All my mom had to do was go like this, which meant, vas a ver, cabrona. <laughs> you getting fucked up. <laughs> I instantly be telling my cousins, like, hey, you better tell your mom we stay the night or some shit. I ain't trying to go home. Get my ass beat. <laughs> your mom if I can spend the night. Oh, my God. That's the only way I can get out of it, but I hope to God that my mom didn't remember the next day <laughs> to beat my ass. It's like, God damn. Oh, she's like, cool's she's down. She's like, it's 9 o'clock. Time yeah. for your ass whipping, girl. <laughs> Dude, I'm crazy. I'm sure there's some people like that. I... Luckily, I'm not. She would tell me in Spanish, like, um, ¿Quieres dormir calentita? That means, like, if you want to sleep warm. So if you want that ass beat, like, she's going to fucking hit you so hard, you're going to feel like your fucking <laughs> ass is hot, girl. <laughs> oh, my God. I look crazy, crazy. I love ass it. Mexican mom. Ugh. I God fucking damn. love your mom. She's fucking crazy. I mean, she cool, but she's fucking crazy. It, like, almost, it almost sounds sweet of her being like, do you want to sleep warm? Yeah. Night? But like little. <laughs> it means like. Underneath that, it's like, bitch. I'm going to whoop that ass so good. It's going to be hot. <laughs> exactly. Be burning, radiating heat. Girl. I remember I used to get beat little when I was little, but not like where it's like, oh, sad. But I mean, typical, you know, you did this or that wrong. You hit or whatever. But mm -hmm. I feel like I got smacked up a little bit. I had the belt here and there. You were better, though, for it, I feel like. Absolutely. I probably... No, I don't think I deserved the the belt whoopings. Well, belt, the belt or belts bad? Were, the belts were the worst. I would literally... Because I would try to block block <laughs> it. <laughs> so, clack, 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 clack. I'm like, we were just like... Tat, tat, tat. And she's... <laughs> I got, like, literally welts. Like, Bart or... Uh, like, uh, fucking belt welts here. Yeah. Just fucking... I could see just straps. But at least you blocked it. That means you blocked it at I least. I blocked it and she was get she would get even mad. She's like, You keep blocking it, like I'm gonna keep hitting you. I'm like, Oh my god, dude. So I had to stop and literally just take it. Oh man. She would feel hella bad after though. Every time she beat the fuck out of me, she'd <laughs> she'd fucking <it. laughs> she she would literally be like, I'm sorry, Miha. You know, but you deserved it, Miha. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. She's like, But next time Don't I'm fucking do doing that. Again. That's fucking hilarious. Yeah, dude. I remember all of this shit. What was that? Oh, my oh, phone. phone. It's all good. <sighs> I feel like we should have had another cup so we can try other ones. Well, I'm almost done with this one, girl. Oh, I was like, damn, you already poured it? Okay. All right. God damn, we're about to get turned up. I don't know if I can chug this, dude. I don't think you could. It's a double dry hop. I can I chug double, it, but it's like... It's I'd, a double... I'm going to get fucked up. I think this one's the one that's like 8.3, 8 I think. Well, I'm going to yep. have this Pilsner. 8.3, girl. I'm probably going to have the, the Moonraker one after. Where are they from? Moonraker? Yeah. Um... Auburn, California? Auburn? That's what it says. No, uh, Auburn? Uh, A U B. Auburn? Yeah. yeah, Auburn. But it doesn't have like a. 
That's all it says right here. Well, it has the address to the company itself. I've never even heard of it. I won't. 8.5 again, bitch? You're gonna die. I should have got a sour, honestly. Mm. I think I was just so excited because all of these look so, like... This one's a 7. Maybe I'll just have this one. Alvarado Street. It's a... Uh, just IPA, Citra IPA. Citra baby. I really like that uh, can. It is the a cool art, can. The, the art on here, honestly, just becoming so amazing. For real, man. Fucking, you ever seen a fucking Bud Light like this? <laughs> just blue? Definitely not. <laughs> mm. Damn, it looks like a, like a picture, you know, like a nice beer. It looks like a nice color too. Yeah, it does. I like the co Everybody color better it. than this one. Cheese. I'd want to know if you guys want to comment down below, like, what's the first thing you want to do when this shit's over? Or what's the first brewery you guys want to go oh, yeah. to or fucking bar? We want to know. I do want to know because it might give me ideas mm -hmm. on where to go. Yeah. Jill's birthday's coming up. She o She o <laughs> The right age of 31. Damn, oh my God. girl. You made it. I'm alive. You still... Damn. It's nice, huh? It's nice. You still look young, though, at least. Thank God. I don't look like leather. <laughs> <Stop>. <laughs> when you said that, you know, who I, you know who I thought about? The bum lady that lived, that would walk the streets over there by Leah's house. Which, was her parents' house? Yeah, she was like a, like, cause you know there's like a, a crazy spot yeah, right, a crazy there, home right there? But there was like a lady that would walk and she looked like literally like leather. I don't like remember her. fucking orange. She just like the sun too much. She probably has cancer. I mean, <laughs> skin look how crazy, much she's dude. Staying in the sun. Yeah, probably. she was done. Poor lady. <laughs> Poor lady. <laughs> she probably liked the color. Some bitches like that shit. Yeah, they like to look like little Damn, um, I look Oompa like, Loompas. Looking like leather. I'm like a yellow complexion. Oh, it's the same color, huh? I think I like a pink. Yeah, you do pink. have like a little pinker, like a pink, like a salmon tone. I used to be dark as hell. Bitch, you it... Yes. Well, I shaved it because this one was like shaved. So I look fucking like, it just looked weird, I feel like to me. I don't know. But you have lighter hairs, bitch. Yours are like brown. Mine are fucking black. I doubt that. And more for sure though. It's that white. Oh, it's a hairy bitch. It's a Latina in me. Mm hmm. Joe got both crazies. I know. My boo probably is like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, damn, bitch, you fine, but fuck, you're crazy. Yeah, but he loves it. Hi, boo. <laughs> Shout out, Steve. Shout out, Steve, my boo. <laughs> I already imagined him right now. I'm probably be like, just gonna be like, damn, girl. He's he gonna put me. me on blast. He loves me. He loves that ass for sure. All right, girl, you better get your beer. All right. Cracking this cry, or I thought it was cry baby. Such a baby. <laughs> cry baby. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, about to cry today. I wonder if you named a beer cry baby, what kind of beer it would be. For real, cry baby. Hmm. I'd be like, it had to be like an imperial, imperial some kind stout. of imperial stout shit. It has to be like imperial. Bourbon barrel age. Damn. Ugh. What? I mean, oh, you crying, bitch? You know, that's that would be me. Up. That's probably why they would cry. Call it cry baby, because I'd be like, this is whack. <laughs> you really don't like them stouts, or I imperial stouts. I can maybe do an imperial style. I don't like the bourbon barrel age. Oh, those, yeah. Fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh, shit. All right. Let's try this one. Oh. What is it? It's a hazy Such for sure. Such a baby. My nephew does that. He, baby. <laughs> or something like that. Baby. My booze. One percent for the planet member. Oh, maybe they give some proceeds to. Holy shit! This is interesting. Planet. May I? Yeah. Hmm. The IP. Yeah, but it's like. I feel it like the it, it. It's like a hazy to me. I don't know. It doesn't say hazy or anything. Oh my god! It's, does it have a spiciness to you? I feel like it has like a spice. Am I tripping? <laughs> I see your fucking face! Bitch! <laughs> I'm like trying to like it <laughs> right now. <laughs> it really just hits your tongue like a oh, fucking shit. freight train. <laughs> Those taste buds are fucking... They're fried now. I probably can't even taste They're my beer anymore. <laughs> now you can't probably even taste this fucking beer. Supposedly, I don't know. Okay, you know how coffee fucking beans reset your nose, um, your scent? Yeah. I wonder if it works the same with your palate. Like, uh, your, like or your taste buds. IPA? Like, well, like, yeah, or drink, if you're trying to drink different types of beers but you know how sometimes you're like the taste lingers in your mouth like from the other beer that you oh, drank yeah. previous maybe you can drink like you know some cold brew or like a little baby shot of beer mm. or a fucking coffee or something if it'll reset damn that's scientific girl i don't know that's scientific as fuck i got a brain up here guys leave a comment <laughs> if you know if you know if that works let us know because we love coffee and we'll fucking bring it on here and a lot of spots are actually getting like cold brew and stuff like we went to bottle craft right now to get cans they had like three different types and i think modern times even has like a cold brew out oh they have a whole coffee thing a whole coffee line like a or modern like a co yeah oh yeah oh shit i'm not a big like coffee person i'll fucking go to starbucks i don't get shit but <laughs> i'm pretty sure they have a whole coffee thing because i went to the modern times in downtown la and they had a okay. little coffee barista thingy Dope. Yeah. Mm, I so. think a lot of spots are trying to starting to fuck with coffee more like cold brew stuff. It's either for me, it's either fucking cold brew or nothing because fucking <laughs> cold brew or nothing. Because like regular iced coffee don't get me like up like how I need to and like hot coffee is more for taste for me now. Cold brew or um espresso. Either either one. Yeah. But I just want some cream in my coffee. You mean you just want some coffee in your cream? Yeah. <laughs> All cream, no coffee, or splash of coffee. Oh, yeah. Yes. All right, guys. Well, we'll probably save this one for the aftermath because we don't want to be too fucking shit-faced on here. You know thanks what for, it is. Thanks for tuning in, but we'll be back. And like I said, drop any fucking ideas you guys have on the comments below or hit us up on IG if you guys have any ideas and we are interested in them. We will bring them on our uh, next uh, podcast and uh, go from there, basically. But thanks for tuning in and follow us. If you guys haven't followed us on IG, subscribe, like our fucking YouTube post. That'd be great. And... Cheers and till next time. Shoot. Cool.